put my heart on my lips. I gave it all I could give. I made it hot at the crib. I can't find the crib. Where you gonna go when you do? I'm a no. Hey, you guys. What's Gucci? It's your boy, SJ Dot, the first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. We are back with a review. This it's not just Aquaman. This is the Aquaman spoiler free review. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Aquaman spoiler free review. You know what? I reviewed mid nineties this year. Bruh. <sighs> Follow your boy on Twitter. Follow your boy SJ Cater on Instagram. Let me go ahead and shout out some actors that I loved in this movie. Jason Momoa. Let's talk about the, his character, the Aquaman. Now, let's get this straight. I'm going to be honest and blunt and real with y'all. There were some corny points in this movie. A little bit too many. But for anyone, for anyone, critics, fans, fanboys, regular casual moviegoers, call Aquaman corny. But likes movies like Ant-Man, Guardians, Iron Man 3, Iron Man 2, Ant-Man 2, Guardians 2, Thor Ragnarok. If you like any of these movies and call Aquaman this movie corny, you are whack. Because if you are willing to watch Guardians 1. Dance off. The dance off scene. Probably the corniest thing and the thing that ruined the movie for me. You're whack. Let's just get that out the way. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This movie has some corny points. But had a lot to make up for it. Such as Nicole Kidman's character, Atlanta. Now Atlanta, let me let me give y'all let me sum this story up. This story is basically bastard child, not really a bastard child, but a cast out child who is a half breed of two worlds, the sea and the land. He is the son of he is the son and child of the land and the sea that has came together. This child. That is the bridge between the two worlds. Must go and face his younger kin. His brother. To take this throne. Due to his brother having a distaste for the land. And what they have done to the oceans. But the Aquaman must come and put balance back into Atlantis. To be the one true king. To let Everyone know that Atlantis is not is friendly. Atlantis is friendly. Atlantis cares about the people. Atlantis wants to be one with the land and the sea. Because Atlanta, Atlanta believed that when she had her child with Tom Curry, shouts out to the actor, which is, I hope I say it right, Tamir Morrison. Pacific Islanders. Shouts out to the Pacific Islanders of the Samoans, the Tongans. Shouts out to y'all, bro. Jason Moe did that for y'all. Jason Moe pulled up in here and he did it for y'all. That's just what I'm going to say. I believe him as a father figure to Jason. There's a scene in this movie where they have the blow bonding time. I've been around a bunch of Samoan Tongan families, and that shit was kind of on point, though. Fuck. <laughs> hey. But, Aquaman, Jason Moa, is the bridge between two worlds. He must take the throne to stop war from happening. To stop the seven seas from raining down on the land and encasing the whole world in the ocean once again. Amber Heard. Jason Momoa, William De William Defoe. I guess I no Jason Momoa, Amber Heard, P 
Patrick Wilson, William Defoe were standout characters for me. I loved Volko. I like to transition from scenes in present day to Volko and Arthur. I like the way they meshed it well. The transitions are amazing. I, I like it. It, it. it was... The transitions was like this. You have a portal. On one side of this portal, this is your world. When you step into this other side of this portal, you enter into a whole new world. That's what it felt like. It was a world within a world, but you felt like you went into another world. The visuals. The visuals were amazing. The CGI was tight to me. CGI was, it wasn't what I would say it would it would be bearable. The CGI was tight to me. I liked it. I liked the battles. The action. The action in this movie, bro. James Wan. You got to slow down with them rotating. Bruh. James Wan so quick with them rotating shots. I noticed this in this movie. James Wan, I'm, I'm guessing if, if, he was, if he was really directing the action like that. How he likes to do his action scenes, he likes to do tracking shots where they, he's tracking one person, then it leads to another person and it pans out and you see multiple people when he's in the action scenes. He likes to take a character who's fighting in a central location like this, right? She's, she or he is surrounded. Boom, boom. James Wan was like, yo, we got to get everybody in this whole room. And I need to see, I need to see this person with all your assets. So this is what we're going to do. Put that camera up there. Attach it to a thing like a rail so it goes all around. I need y'all to get y'all asses whooped and make that shit look right. And have that camera spin it. Uh, bruh, that, it, it looked tight. Nicole Kidman, Atlanta. Her, she was OP, bruh. She went there, she she pulled up. She went. Her action sequences were tight. Jason Momoa. I when I was going into this, I thought his action sequences was gonna be. You know what? I really legit thought like, ah, uh, this man. He was getting his ass kicked by Steppenwolf in Justice League, though. Man, he finna be picking up people and just throwing around shit. He actually has a good, calm, pretty good, basic. I want to say a basic combat style, but let's say let's compare him to the DC E the the DC film universe Wonder Woman compared to him. Wonder Woman is obviously the better sword fighter, the better hand to hand combatant, I would say. But Jason Momoa knows enough to enough action and fighting abilities to get by because he also has his impenetrable skin. He has his ability to see in the he has the ability to see underwater in the darkest depths of the water. And he can in he, he just sees everything that, that lights up to him. He can see it all. He can see it. This Aquaman's OP. Let's talk about Black Manta's character. People a lot of people I heard some people saying that Black Manta kind of What's the best word? What's the best word? Took you out the story. But I would say, to me, that's completely false. Because he's a side character. Now, the, the way they incorporate him as a side character, they didn't focus too much on him. Because this was not his film. This was uh, this was Jason Momoa Arthur's film. This is Jason Momoa's film. Jason Momoa's film. This was not Black Manta's film. They was not trying to make it about Black Manta. Black Manta was just the hired muscle. But he had a reason to be a hired muscle. Because he wasn't in it for the money. Because Arthur did something that caused him to seek revenge after him. And I'm not going to say what that is. Because you need to go see the movie. Because Aquaman, Aquaman made a choice. The same choice. This goes back to Batman Begins. That Batman made in Batman Begins. With a certain somebody. Y'all know who. He. D Dang that's, that's a little bit too much. I can't say that. I can't say that. Batman made a decision on somebody in, in Batman Begins. 
and Arthur Borderline in a way did the same thing here but I'm not finna say it y'all guess who the villain ah! y'all figure it out y'all make it work when you go see the movie um the visuals now people are saying oh it's a knockoff Black Panther it's a knockoff Black Panther yeah. man shut the fuck up man Black Panther was tight in its own right but as far as world building, Aquaman takes it, bro. Aquaman takes it. Aquaman takes it with world building. World building, Aquaman takes it, yo. I'm sorry, Wakanda, but Atlantis in the Seven Seas stole it. There's, yo. I can't. I I, I can't dive into the the into the 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 seven seas in this because that that is all about ocean master patrick wilson's character ocean master that's all about his character in that in that portion so i really can't get into that because i don't want to i i want the movie to explain that for you but all i'm here to do is i'm just here to tell y'all if this is fire or if this is average or if this is nah don't go see don't not nah, nah don't waste your time Borderline for me, this is gonna be a. If I, I'm gonna have three grades. No, no, there's three levels. Three levels. Fire for. Go see it. It's tight. Basic for, nah. It's a basic chick. You know. You can try it, but you know you don't get all you want. Or. Nah, I ain't fucking with it. So you got nah. Basic, or fire. Fire, basic, nah. If I had to let y'all know how I feel about this film, this film was, to me, in my opinion, fire. It was. Now, granted, the script was not as deep, was not as deep as Wonder Woman, Man of Steel. For I would say even... Borderline. Nah, cause I I think I'm I I got. I would have. Now I got Aquaman over BVS the Ultimate Edition. I do. My order goes Wonder Woman. Man of Steel. Aquaman. BVS Ultimate Edition. Justice League and Suicide Squad. Aquaman is not going to take that spot because Aquaman had more action, spectacle, mind shocking awe. Yes, Man of Steel had deeper dialogue, but as far as like rewatchable rewatch value, I'm gonna give that more to Aquaman. But that doesn't take away the fact that Aquaman still had that Man of Steel had some deep dialogue in it, a deep a better script. Now, granted, there was some corny these actors. The Jason Momoa made Aquaman his own character. He took this is not the traditional Aquaman you see, not the stoic kind of Aquaman that you see, like you see in the Justice anime series or comics, kind of stoic Aquaman. He was he was not that. He was a bruh. This man, Jason Momoa, was too cool, bruh. This man was too cool. This man, Jason Momoa, is a handsome man. He's a handsome man. It's that's just real. He is. It's just real. That's just real. That's just facts. He is, bro. For all the women that want to go see this, I hope y'all. I hope y'all cleaned up them seats. Because, and all the dudes that went, clean them sticky pants, bro. Because Mara, Amber Heard, she was hot, bro. I know the Game of Thrones fans pulled up to see this. I know the Game of Thrones fans had to pull up to see this. I know y'all had to. But I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. DC's back on track, bro. DC's back on track. And yes, I granted, I did bring up Marvel. I did. Because there were some people that I heard that was saying this, the, the, this movie was kind of corny. And for that shit, I got to say, do you like movies like Dumb and Dumber? Do you like movies like Guardians 1, Ant-Man 1, Ant-Man 2, Guardians 2, 
like love these movies if you love any of these movies you can't begin on Aquaman because you already like corny shit so you know this it's corny shit here granted it was corny but you have to grade this corn just like you grade the other corn and I'll be real with y'all this corn was not too much it was okay it was okay I wish there was less of it because I'm gonna be real with y'all I don't want to see this moving forward if DC's gonna do it do this I don't want DC to do it Marvel dead and flip the script to make things too light-hearted too light-hearted and when I say light-hearted I mean borderline diverging into the action comedy genre like I don't, I don't want that over here at DC I don't want deep I don't want depressing I want more serious but you still have a serious and fun movie but it doesn't need to be depressing but I don't want action comedies like full on action comedies like Guardians well Guardians is a is a is, is a fucking comedy so um that, that's a comedy movie to me that is a comedy that's a comedy that is a comedy there's no way you cannot say that is not a comedy Guardians is a comedy Ant-Man I consider that a comedy. Iron Man 3, I could I consider that an action comedy. Thor Ragnarok comedy. I don't want to I don't want DC to flip the script and do what Marvel's been doing for the past 10 years. I still want DC. I still want y'all to do your own thing. Marvel, I want y'all to do your own thing. Cuz hopefully the the script does not get flipped and Marvel does what DC does in the next 10 years. And DC does what Marvel been doing the past 10 years. I don't want to see that. I do not want to see that. Do not do that. Do what you got to do. The way the movie ended. As far as it's post crediting This review is all over the place. But the way this movie ended. As far as as as, as far as it's post credit scene goes. As far as this post credit scene goes. I like that they did not try to go deep into connecting it to other DC movies I like that they kept it general within the movie I'm not gonna say what that post credit scene was but it's not no huge expansion they kept it general within the movie and what the story has came out with they kept it within the world of Aquaman not not like not saying that Aquaman is excluded from the connected universe but they made the final scene, the post credit, the post credit scene, integrated within Aquaman. They just said they just made it like integrated within Aquaman. They didn't try to tease something bigger. They just integrated it into the film scene. Boom. I like the decision that Arthur took with Ocean Master's characters in the, in this movie. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. You was you was tight, man. He was tight. Borderline. He was like. This is how it is. Ocean Master. As far as his ideology goes and how he thinks of things and makes sense of things, he's kind of like Zod. Zod was super Krypton. He was all about. Krypton, Krypton's life. Krypton is the way. Krypton is my soul. Krypton is my life. Krypton is my rock. Krypton is my love. Same for Orm. Atlantis. He loved Atlantis. He had a distaste for anything that is not the ocean. The beauties of the seven seas. Atlantis. He hated what the people of the lands have done to his seas what is done to its creatures you know harpooning whales killing fish which I mean shit we're part of the problem bro we, we kind of fucked up bro I felt real bad I low key felt bad bro I felt bad I was like shit I'm eating killing the fuck I'm fucked up but this movie made me this movie made me feel bad for the uh for for the for the marine life that we have, man. That shit was beautiful. And there's a scene in this movie where um 
Aquaman confront Aquaman confronts a a a a. Let me say this. Let me say this. Aquaman was running around here like he was some little demi god, bro. He was running around like a demi god. That's what it seemed like. He was running around like a demi god. And I went when I was looking. I was like. Kind of remind me of a video game character, a very angry one. Huh, Blades of Chaos, yeah. But look, Aquaman, this move was fire, bro. I'm be real with y'all. James Wan, I appreciate them shots you took. Bro, the visual shots that he took. There's a battle, I'm not going to say it, with two characters. One of them jettisons out the water like a torpedo. Jumps onto this ship, takes his, takes his weapon and slams it down. There's a shot, a slow motion shot. It's raining. There's this little, this little rudder to you know, a little rudder to make the, the, the rudder to make the giant boat thingy go. This character was kneeling down. He looked at his enemy. He stared him down. He got up, and the suit he was wearing, them, that color palette was tight. There was a slow motion shot of water just going down, dripping, falling down. Boom! And then this man, bro, this is how all superhero movies need to play out. Every superhero needs a theme. This is why DC is iconic with these things, bro. Now, I, I can say Marvel ain't got shit because Marvel ain't got no memorable things besides that Avengers theme, I guess. Yeah, I remember the Avengers theme, but like as far as personal character theme, they played Aquaman's theme more than three times in this movie every time he showed up in a certain scene. They played it more than, no, 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 let me say more than two times. No, 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 more than three. More than three, but not over exaggerated like, oh, they played it ten times, the they played it. They played this theme more than three times. The theme was tight. I loved it. Aquaman is tight. Y'all should go check this out. Check out this movie. But I'm be real with y'all. The dialogue, the dialogue is it, it, it's 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 a pass. It's a it's passing dialogue. It's not better than Wonder Woman's, or nor is it better than Man of Steel's. But what it has over Man of Steel is more life, more rich life. It it has more nutrients to it. It's not super depressing. And not saying Wonder Woman is a depressing film, but Wonder Woman is what Aquaman is also. Hope. A film full of hope. Life. Richness. Nutrition. It has that nutrition to give you. It has a perfect balance of... It has a, it's a perfectly balanced, nutritious meal. Your apple. Your granola bar. Your OJ. Got your cereal. Perfectly balanced meal. Goat man... Go check out Aquaman. Go check out Aquaman, bro. Go check this film out. This film was tight. DC's back on track. DC's rising in 2020. Hashtag DC rises in 2020. We need to make that a hashtag. DC rises in 2020, man. The Aquaman is here. I can't do no spoiler review yet, but the Aquaman is here. The Aquaman. Go check it out, guys. Jason Momoa, you sold it, bro. You did it. You made Aquaman look tight. Bro, you did it. I like his look. I like his look. He made Aquaman his own character. He he took Aquaman and he made it his own. He integrated it into what he is. A cool, handsome dude, bro. <sighs> this move was tight, bro. The Aquaman was fire. Y'all go check out the Aquaman. In the in theaters, December 21st. Since I was an Amazon Prime member, I gotta go see it today. Go check out The Aquaman. This movie was fire. All the critics out here calling that if you may call this movie corny, you need to look at your back catalog and be wary, y'all. Whatever critics call this movie corny, be wary because some of these critics are not talking about the dialogue. None of these critics are being real and saying that the script isn't all the way there because I'll be honest with y'all. The script isn't all the way there, but the script is not an F script. It's a passing script, but it's not a over-the-top amazing script. It's a passing script. 
But the visuals, the acting, the characters, they make up for it. They give life to it. Black Manta's character did not redirect the story. He was integrated well to a point where he was a one and done thing until something more. They did it well. They didn't linger with him on it. They went ahead, bruh. The way Black Manta went out. <laughs> I can't talk about it. Bruh, the way Black Manta. Oh, bruh. <laughs> bro, that was funny, bro. Oh my god, the way he just hit that. Oh my god. The fuck, bro? You trying to fly away? So? <laughs> bro, I'm just gonna say this. This man, Black Manta, was trying to hover and do something, bro. His booster rockets was on booty crack, bro. He was like, Bro, that was funny. Y'all go check out the Aquaman. There was no big spoilers here. But. Go check out the Aquaman. Y'all go spread some peace, love, and positivity. Go spread that peace, love, and positivity. The Aquaman was tight. Jason Momoa was killing it. He sold the Aquaman here, bro. Don't believe these critics. Don't let these critics fool you out here, bro. They're not giving you that real. They over here just talking about the action. That's it. They just saying it's fun. But they're not giving you that real about the script or the acting. They're just saying it's fun. I, I told y'all straight up here. I told y'all. I gave, I, I'm being honest. The script wasn't all the way there. But the actors made up for it. Because Jason Moa made me like him, bro. He was just a cool ass fucking dude, bro. They made, he, oh, he took that character and he owned it. Mara, you was fucking hot. Patrick Wilson, you made me feel something. You made me feel what I felt for Zod and Man of Steel. I wouldn't say you're better than Zod from Man of Steel, but you made me feel you was borderline on that shit. And I like how what they did with your character, and I liked how the outcome of your character, of your character. I'll talk about my spoiler review, you know, maybe next week. Black Manta, he wasn't all that, but he was not the main central story. William Dafoe as vocal. I liked his intro. I liked his introduction. I like what he was trying to do for uh, Arthur Curry. I like that he was that he felt kind of kind of it was a it was a guilt. And he was trying to he was trying to get that weight off him and try to make up for it with Arthur. Shouts out to all my Samoans, my Tongans. Shouts out to all y'all. Shouts out to the family. This movie was tight, bruh. Go straight that peace, love, and positivity. Hey, Jody. Jody, bruh. With DC back on track, Jody. J3, DC back on track. HC3, man, eat the whole chat. Cock HC3, eat the whole chat. Cock HC3, DC back on track. DC back on track. DC Rises in 2020, y'all. X Files. We coming for you, bruh. We coming for you, X Files. You better open up X Files because we coming for you. DC rises in 2020. Shouts out to Jody's Corner. Shouts out to J3 Entertainment for believing in the movement, bro. We fucks with the movement. DC rises in 2020. Hashtag that shit is happening. Hashtag DC rises in 2020. Let's write that peace, love, and positivity. Doses.